1960s. The late Crazy Greg Newell did his best job to help build Fort Lauderdale into the spring break capital of the world during the 70s and 80s. I can tell you on behalf of our city commission, hey, Norm Kent. It's great to have Norm Kent up here too. Guys, Norm Kent, let's welcome him. Four or five members of our city commission really appreciated this. Our former police chief did not so much appreciate this inductee. Bruce told me he knew Crazy Greg very well. What was it, the banana contest, the wet t-shirt contest? Fittingly, Greg Newell discovered Fort Lauderdale on spring break from Purdue University in the late 1950s. Shortly after graduation, Crazy Greg moved here and began tending bar at the legendary Elbow Room, where he earned the nickname Crazy thanks to a wildly popular 40 cent beer promotion. Michelle, are you going to honor that 40 cent beer promotion tonight? No. In 1970, Crazy Greg opened the button located right behind us at Los Olos and A1A, which became one of the most popular spring break destinations here in Fort Lauderdale. With his trademark Hawaiian shirt and a propeller beanie, Crazy Greg's mission in life was ensure that everyone was having fun. Are you all having fun out here tonight? He's in Paris. Greg Newell was also widely recognized for his generosity, his kind spirit, and his big heart. He provided jobs, financial assistance, business and personal advice to hundreds of individuals in need of help. He was a huge part of Fort Lauderdale's colorful history, and his legacy as the father of modern day spring break lives on in the memories of millions who spent some of their most enjoyable and unforgettable weeks of their lives in our city. How many of you first came down here for a spring break? of the City of Fort Lauderdale, congratulations on this honor. Norm, congratulations on this honor. And we thank both of you for accepting this award on behalf of Crazy Greg Knoll. I believe he said peas and carrots. Enjoy the music!